We know that urban dwellers carry a higher risk for mental health problems. And we also know that stress, particularly social stress, plays a substantial role there. And if we want to design cities that are good for us and that um, rather protect our mental health and that provide access, equal access, to the full spectrum of urban advantage, then it's important to work together across the disciplines. We do not only work interdisciplinary, but we also work across the sectors um, to involve civil society, to involve administrators and policy makers in order to come to what I would um, call a public mental health strategy for our cities, mega cities um, that are um, rising across the globe. If it gets too hot, it influences our behavior. It influ has an impact on our emotions, on our mental well-being. Climate change is extremely relevant for uh, public mental health and therefore um, designing um, health protective cities also means designing uh, cities that can cope with climate change, that can counteract the effects that climate change um, has on uh, the urban environments. Urban green spaces are of substantial importance from a public mental health point of view. They do not only provide cooling during summer, they also counteract the development of urban heat islands. And green spaces also help our brains to cope with stress. They help us to regulate our emotions. They help us to um, counteract social stress in urban environments. And therefore, we do need to provide good and equal access to urban green spaces all around the city and within the cities. With our interdisciplinary forum on neurourbanism, uh, we're trying to collect much more information on the distribution of health-relevant stress within the city limits, within the um, uh, region of Berlin and Brandenburg. And uh, therefore, we work together with stakeholders from all kinds of um, um, sectors in academia. We work together with uh, citizens, we work together with policymakers, and therefore the Einstein Center Climate Change is an important partner um, to provide information on the exchange between um, human behavior and climate impact in the city, and this is important evidence to complete what we call an emotional map of the city.